Hey guys, it's uh, Wayne, one of the editors over here at CGM, and uh, this week let's talk about digital copies of games. Um, we've recently gotten some very interesting news from Electronic Arts, of all people. This actually caught me by surprise quite a bit. Now, like many people, I am looking forward to Dragon Age Inquisition when it comes out, now officially dated October 7th. But the one thing that has been um, an, an odd sort of surprise for me uh, with the recent announcements about this game are the fact that uh, they're actually going to be releasing a digital collector's edition of Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, normally when they put out these games, you know, in order to entice people to go to EB Games or GameStop or Best Buy or Amazon or any of the other traditional physical distributors, they will include special collector's editions that will include a bunch of stuff, including, um, more recently, uh, in-game digital content. You know, it's like stuff like new armor or weapons or other things. Now, the interesting thing about this is that EA has taken it upon themselves to provide a digital collector's edition. Um, this one for Dragon Age Inquisition is going to include a soundtrack, it's going to include new weapons, it's also going to include new mounts, and even a throne, which will probably be loosely inspired by the throne in Game of Thrones, since that's all the rage these days. But it's interesting to note that um, they are basically assuming that there's a big chunk of people who are going to want to buy the digital copy of this on the PC, the Xbox One, and the PS4. Now, I find this to be a really, really interesting move on Electronic Arts' part because it says to me that they've been watching the numbers that have been coming in and they've been finding that some people would simply rather download the game on their machine and, you know, preload it perhaps, you know, wait until midnight rolls around on launch day and then just simply jump into the game and start playing rather than do the whole usual ritual of going down to the store or putting in your pre-order and then if you really, really like the game, you get in line up with a bunch of other people until midnight, you know, it's like, and then after that, you patiently wait in the line and then you go home and you bring the game and at that point, even though you bought it at midnight, you're probably actually playing it about an hour later. That's assuming that it's, you know, you don't have to go to work the next day. Um, so, this brings uh, an interesting question to the table, which is what is going to happen as um, digital and physical copies start you know, clashing head on? Because right now it kind of looks like EA has tentatively drawn a line in the sand. You know, it's like they're, they're making it more convenient than ever for people to buy the digital copy. The only problem is, is that the digital copy is still being priced exactly the same as the physical retail copy. This is despite the fact that they don't actually have to spend any money um, making packaging, making instructions, uh, or, you know, it's like physically shipping the game out. Um, now, it's pretty well understood at this point that one of the reasons that they're doing this is because they don't want to um, infuriate or, you know, it's like otherwise provoke their physical distribution partners. So they're pricing it this way. But we've already seen that, you know, Valve on the PC side, they really don't care about any of that stuff and they price their digital games ridiculously low because they know that most people aren't going to buy the physical copy anyway. So this brings us to a waiting game. It's like, you know, how long is it going to be before this kind of thinking moves into the console space? And if it happens, is EA actually going to be the one who's going to make the first move on this rather than, say, Activision? It, it's an interesting question, and it's one that I'm genuinely interested in seeing getting answered over the next couple of years. So to EA, I think it's really interesting that you guys are actually doing this with Dragon Age. Um, I'm going to be paying more attention to see whether you do this with any of the other big stuff, like future Mass Effect titles or, you know, it's like your future Star Wars titles. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. This is an interesting move, and it shows that this next generation of consoles is bringing us to a very interesting place content-wise.